Hello everyone. Today I decided to uh, do a video on replacing a stud in a motorcycle uh, leather uh, backrest. Fortunately for the backrest uh, situation, as you'll see, uh, the bottom of the backrest has a zipper enclosure. Now, this is the hardware that you take off the back of the backrest. Just uh, use uh, a hex uh, tool like this. This one happens to be a 4.0 times 100 millimeter. So it's a 4.0 shaft, 4 millimeter shaft. So, luckily for me, I found uh, this stud in my driveway. So it fell off just about five feet away from where I store the motorcycle. So I'm just going to uh, give you a brief overview of how you can replace the stud. Uh, basically, uh, I had to put a piece of wire in this zipper. I also sprayed the zipper with a bit of lubricant so it moves a bit better than what it was doing. And you, of course, you tug that very gently so that you don't destroy the plastic zipper. And uh, of course, um, I'm gonna have to turn this inside out shortly. But inside we have the uh, foam, which you see is uh, wrapped in plastic to keep it from getting moist. I guess or moisture get on to getting onto it. And the actual back plate that um, your hex nuts go into, your bolts, I should say. So it's uh, once you got the zipper on done, you just uh, you remove this piece of plastic very uh, delicately and then you remove the foam and of course uh, this is the type of wire you can use uh, for to put in through that hole I think the little zipper tab on mine was missing so that's what I used when I found the stud uh, the the ends were bent down so I took a, uh, a small little metal screwdriver and a small set of pliers and straightened out the ears so now the uh, the ears will be able to go back into the leather. So now what uh, I intend to do is I'm going to try to invert. Now I don't necessarily have to do that. I'm thinking right here on this edge here is where I need to get the, um, the stud put back in. So I don't really have to invert the whole thing. I just need to get access to where that stud is supposed to go, which is right about here. The thing about it is, is we want to be careful that we're not uh, removing the other um, studs to replace this one. So there is basically where that stud belongs. And uh, looks like it was just missing an inside uh, leather section here. They put leather inside to give it more surety, more strength, so it wouldn't break through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to inspect the hole and get that in camera shot here. Now there's a center hole here, right down the middle, I'm not exactly sure why. It's possibly where they may have injected some glue, but I don't see any glue in the in the stud. But however, on either side, uh, the holes are still intact and not ripped, as you can see. So I can place the stud back in to those holes, like that, it's good and secure. And all I need to do now is go inside with this flat down on this table here and bend the ears down. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find a piece of leather and go on the inside like what they have here. Let me just remove this stud so I don't lose it again. Uh, what they have here, I'm try trying to make sure I'm in the shot here. They, uh, they, they placed some leather here on the inside if you can see that. So that certainly gives strength. Now here is one that is not, I'm hoping then shot, here's one stud right here that doesn't have any leather covering it. So I may go with this, uh, this, this way for now and take my chances. So I'm going to invert the bag, the pouch, I think. Maybe I better not actually, because I don't want to disturb the rest of these studs. They look to be all intact. So I'm going to put the stud in there again, go on the inside. I'm going to do this off camera. Basically all you're doing 
as you once that the the tabs are into the leather you bend down this one and bend down that one so it's flat and it's holding on to the leather so that's how you can re replace the stud on a backrest now as for the seat and the other places well um, the uh, saddlebags, uh, of course, that's all exposed. That's not a problem. You can see where the studs are. So, but the seat, I've never had my seat off yet, so I'm not exactly sure how uh, that would be possible to replace the studs there. But as for saddlebags and for your backrest, if you have a zipper in the bottom, if you're gentle with it, and you'll be very careful, you can certainly remove all this interior stuff and get access so you can replace your stud. I hope that is helpful. I'm, I'm sorry I won't be doing the demonstration, but that's pretty well, you know, it's, it's foolproof. Once you, if you can figure out how to get this off and get that stud put back in place, and of course, I don't have to go back in these holes. I could go into another area. I can go like a uh, 90 degree angle and go this way. In. But I would use an awl and puncture the leather here and here, and then put this through, make sure it's nice and firm to the leather and then squat the tabs. Just a little addition. Um, decided that the best way to do it is to invert the bag. So basically what you want to do, the stiffest part is the actual turns where the zipper is. So you basically need to fold the zipper down like this to get it back over. Once you get that rigid part folded like that, you're in business. Something like that. And you can uh, invert it. But anyway, the, the best way to do this uh, with security is to actually do it this way here and if I keep in shot I'm going to find the uh, holes here not so easy to find from the not even know if I'm in shot okay anyway you get the idea. It's going to be a struggle, of course, as it should be. There's one. One stud coming through there, but the other one is a little bit out of range. Okay, we have the uh, stud back on. I can't even tell which one it is, but I'm pretty sure it's this one here, right here. That's the one that was missing. And uh, so it's on there really nice and solid there now. So now what I need to do, of course, this backing plate has to go facing out on the back like this in here. But before I put this in, because this is more rigid, this will fit in much easier. I need to take the piece of uh, uh, foam here, wrapped in plastic so it doesn't get wet, and I'm going to kind of collapse the front end just to get it inside. So I'm just going to squeeze it ever so nicely like that. Try to keep it in shot. And keep pushing down the corners. And keeping that wire out of the way. And just working your way back and forth like this. Hopefully I'm still in shot. I know this is a, not the best of uh, video shots, but uh, doing our best here. So it's going in pretty good. Keep feeding it. Just about in. And get it tucked in behind the zipper here. Push, push it in. And uh, there we go. It's not too bad, but I'm going to want to get it firm up there. So I'm push it really good. There we go. Now, let's see. Sticking out a bit here, but the zipper will take care of that, I think. Once we close it, nice and firm. Okay. Now, uh, the foam is in. And now we're going to insert the plastic piece in here. So we're going to go into the zipper. Be careful not to damage the zipper. And I'm going to start sliding it in. Once we get the corner started, we should be fine. And uh, here we go. And just getting this little lip past the zipper. 
it's going to be the trick now. And uh, and make sure it lines up with the holes, of course. Just about there, I think. Yep. Okay. It's getting there. Almost lined up with the holes, as you can see. see what's going on here. What I have to do is I have to massage the leather here over the ridge like that form. So this basically is this uh, sewn ridge needs to f be lying right on the ridge of the piece of plastic in there and the hole should start to line up and uh, that could take some time. Getting there. It's getting there. The holes are getting there. It's just about in place there now. Just this one here, maybe. A little massage. Massage the leather. Maybe I'll show you the last part. When you're closing the zipper, just remember this is a very fine zipper. So what you need to do is you have you want to basically pinch, pinch your zipper in like that as you're moving it. Don't strain it. Pinch the zipper close. Keep going like that pinch it, tuck the plastic in, and keep working it, work it, and you see this corner here, make sure your zipper is closing in, nothing's in the way, and just tuck it away. Now, of course when you're done, you can just undo the zipper, and put this back on your backrest, on the back part, this goes on the front, and you bolt it together and secure it. There it is. Sorry about the many different shots, but I uh, uh, just wanted to let you guys know it can be done and uh, success can be yours.